So we came here to Chicago to see who people think is going to win the election. Who do you guys think wins? I hope Paris, but yeah, I'm, I gotta say that because that's what I hope for. Yeah, what about you? Do you hope Paris wins? I think she's gonna win. Yeah, but you're not necessarily hoping she wins. I am, I am hoping she wins, but I think she's gonna win. What do the people here think about Mayor Johnson? We I mean, hear he's kind of a controversial guy with like the migrants. Like yeah, <laughs> I don't like that. Yeah, no, I, I didn't even before he was elected. Yeah, yeah, I don't like him at all. What kind of change do you guys hope to see if Kamal Harris is elected as president? Um, a lot of the southern states with Roe versus Wade, and that's my take. Yeah. Yeah. Pro choice. Do you think that should be a federal issue or a state issue, abortion? Um, federal. Federal? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Would you have liked the COVID mandates to be federal level? Uh, we're both in healthcare. He's, I'm in dental and he's a surgeon. It was, um, no, I don't think it should have been. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. That was unprecedented times. No one knew what they were doing. We did I think as a country, we did the best we could. Um, they just, that's, that's tough. Yeah. yeah, and since you guys do work in uh, healthcare, one thing that I've thought is interesting is we go around talking to a lot of people. They say that Donald Trump's a threat to women's rights and that Kamala Harris is going to protect women's rights. Um, but I thought it was a little strange. I think it's a little strange that... Uh, they're talking about like women's rights and human rights and uh, the right to choose and whatnot. But when we had COVID, you couldn't go into certain stores without a vaccine card. And they tried to mandate on that. Yeah, on everybody, I thought that was know? whack too. During the time, I was like, this is I think cool. there was just a lot of misinformation going around around the time of COVID. And it's just like, we didn't know. Like, at first, they said, just wash your hands all the time and we'll be fine. And then two weeks later, no, start wearing a mask everywhere and we'll be fine. You know, wash all your gro groceries and all that. And it was just, we didn't know. And the truth is, you know, with all the masking and everything, everybody ended up getting COVID. Probably everybody's had it yeah, multiple I mean, times been, by now. Like, he had it in um, February. I sleep next to him. I'm with him all the time. I didn't get it. It's I think just once a the vaccine yeah. came around, it certainly decreased the severity of COVID and decreased, like, the overflow overload on the hospitals. But, you know, there's just a lot of misinformation or just, you know, non-information we just didn't know so there's a lot of you know best guesses going on those guys are i watch that hey, they channel the truth bro they go yeah. to the border they've been out of the border yeah. they go to every city in america come in come in they've been to every swing state in america all you got to do if you really want to know what's going on in america is watch this guy's channel him and his mom they go literally everywhere like ain't no way for the media to lie to you if you just watch his channel him sean ryan show patrick bed david Candace Owens, like it's enough information out here for people to know what's going on, bro. Like we don't got to be lied to. There's serious shit going on in America right now, bro. Like we're break, we breaking all the original law. We breaking all the Ten Commandment law. Don't kill, don't steal, honor your mother and your father. Don't covet what other people want. We break all of these laws, and the government is complicit in helping us do it. Just saying. Why, like, do your own research. Stop listening to CNN. Stop listening. Even if you go listen to these people, they giving in now. Anderson Cooper, Van Jones, they're all giving in now to what's really going on because you can't ignore it. Like you, and I really came to find y'all because I know we all are really crazy about what's going on, but I just want to put this out on the internet because I really think it's going to happen. Um, these people are finna cheat. They already cheating, but I'm gonna tell you how they gonna cheat. Who's the president of the Senate and who certifies the election results? And how did we learn that? We learned that from the last election because they tried to tell us the orange man called Mike Pence to do it. And that's how he caused the insurrection. When Mike Pence told him that he wouldn't certify the election results, but that is the vice president's job, man. So, like, so now look, peep this, right? Look, peep this. Let, I, I really I really am of the mind that everybody in America is watching what's going on. It's enough media coverage. It's enough YouTube coverage for you to know what's about to happen. Trump, everybody want Trump to win, bro. Everybody's going to vote for Trump, even, even if they telling you or not. Some people are ashamed to even say it on camera. Some people are ashamed to admit it to their friends, their family. But they're going to go in that voting booth and vote for him. So then when he wins, they've already conditioned America to believe he's a cheater. So guess what they going to do? Certify the election results. Who's in charge of certifying the election results? Kamala Harris, dude. They're going to cheat, bro. And then they gonna, what's going to happen is so many people are already in the mind that Trump's a cheater. They're going to be telling people like us we crazy. Like, just get prepared for it, for real. I love what y'all do, for real. Yeah, yeah. I, I, look, I just left church, and I turned on YouTube, and I saw you was live. I'm like, I'm going to go find them. <laughs> so I saw the LA Fitness I work out at, and I'm saying, hey, 
That's great. He's right here. So we love to hear it. And uh, that is interesting. I haven't thought about that because Mike Pence was the person that had to certify the election. Right. The only reason I even know that is because, again, the liberal media made a big deal out of it last time that Trump called Pence to certify the election results. They tried to make it seem like he was calling them, telling them to cheat. He wasn't calling him, telling him to cheat, bro. He was calling him, telling him to do what he's supposed to do as vice president, bro. Whole time, people, like, like I know y'all get it because y'all talk to a lot of people, bro. People don't even understand what America is like. If you go ask the average American, are we a republic or a democracy? They're going to tell you we're a democracy or we're a republic of 50 states. So, yes, bro, in this country, the states have more power than the federal government. That's the way it's designed. It's designed like that. But people want the federal government to have power. Like, I don't know. It like when the lady just told you a lot of people stupid, especially in the, in this city. That's for sure, bro. Like I, I don't like insulting people, but it's just too much information out here for you to be so emotionally charged about what somebody else wants you to do, bro. Like I just said, I'm smart enough to to foresee the future right now, bro. The man gonna win. They done condition everybody to believe he's a cheater. Then they gonna certify the election results. The person in charge of certifying the election results is his opponent. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. What's going on? Like, and don't nobody else think about that? Like, come on, bro. Like, you, the motherfucker come up with all these crazy ass conspiracies. Let's just go with what the law is. In federal law, the person who certifies the election results is the vice president. The only reason I know that is because the liberal media made a big deal out of that last election when they told, when they said Trump told Pence to do it. So what's going to happen on November 6th when he win and Kamala Harris is going to swear he cheated? And she's the one that has to certify the results. How the fuck is that not cheating? I, you bring up a good point. I never thought about that. That's real. I'm telling you what's real. Like, that's real. Brooker T. Jones, what do you want to say? I, I, I can't, here, you, I can't you, you, stand you, myself you here. Oh, only for a second here. Also, Kamala Harris, she is the number one tiebreaker right. of a vice president. Right. And that's one of her things now, that she that, has done. Now, that's something, else that I can't, that, that's something else that I can't understand why people don't. Like, why people just don't tell the truth, bro? You got Congressman Byron Donalds who went on The Breakfast Club and actually proved to the world that, yo, that, yo, I was in the, I was, I was in the Congressional Oversight uh, Budget Committee when we told her if you pass uh, uh, Joe Biden's American Rescue Plan, it's going to cause massive inflation, right? Guess what they did? She was a tie-breaking boat on, on passing it, bro. They told her before they passed it that it would do what it did. And it did that. Like, the, the, a bag of regular chips is $6. <laughs> Not a family size. A, like, think about this, right? I work all day. I just had to pop in the gas station and get a bag of chips and a one gallon of gas. Do you know how much I'm spending? $10. That's crazy. That's crazy, bro. And, and let's be real. In 2017, gas was two dollars and some change. Don't nobody remember this? You was filling your car for thirty dollars. Like, come on, bro. Like, I don't understand what's going on in reality, not just in this country, but it's like people are Mandela affecting shit, bro. Like, this is this shit real. Gas was two dollars and some change. I used to fill this little van up for thirty bucks. It cost me damn near sixty dollars to fill this van up now. Every, and then if I want to go get some chips, it's six dollars. Everything's doubled. That's what I have a hard time too. When people will say their life is so bad, and then we think, well, think of what has happened over the past four years. It's really went down. And what I want to say though too, because you said about people want everything to go federal. We just talked to two people over here, and she said that she wants the abortion to be a federal decision. And then we brought up the whole COVID thing and how how it was handled then. And then she was like, yeah, that it actually should be a state thing. So it's like, well, you're saying one really thing and then how, one pe thing. People don't really understand how, a federal, how, how the federal country government really works, pretty bro. much leads to the uh, federal the government's responsibility is literally only two things to ensure our rights, to make sure that nobody that the states and nobody else impedes on our rights as citizens and to protect us from foreign threats. That's literally their only job, bro. So example, like I think a lot of people don't know what school choice is, right? Tell me how this is a bad thing, black people, because at the end of the day, I'm half black and I'm half Brazilian. My daddy was a black man from Chicago that went to Brazil in the 80s and had a child. I'm that child. I'm here. So guess what? I'm not against immigration. I'm against illegal immigration. My mama an immigrant. But I, and guess what? I'm not against uh, supporting impoverished communities. I come from an impoverished community. I'm black. But but let's tell the truth about what's going on in this country, bro. It's, it's shit like. Well, just in the world, let's tell the truth about what's going on in the world right now. Y'all want a woman to go to go politic with Arab princes? 
that's what y'all want. Y'all want the person that represents this country to go talk to some people that don't even respect women. Like, I'm just saying, like, let's let's be real about what's going on. Or uh, like abortion. And what, what, what else we were just saying the, uh, the, about uh, about going back to the states? Uh, the I talked about abortion being in the states, and then she, the girl over here, said it should be a federal decision. And then we talked about the whole COVID thing, if that should be federal or state. She said that should be a state decision. But what what people are voting on is emotions. Yeah, people vote Feelings, on emotions. Not yeah. like even even stuff like abortion, bro. Like, let's be real. I don't think nobody is a heartless human being enough to say somebody who had got sexually assaulted or had incest or you having complications at birth. I don't think nobody is, is crazy enough to deny that person an abortion. But if you are just not being a responsible adult and you don't want to take responsibility for your actions, bro, and you want to kill a baby, that ain't cool, bro. How is that right? That's not right at all. Like then no, and then people want to say it's not killing a baby. So why is my sad argument called pro-life? Because the opposite of life is death. So. It's only it's, it, like let's just tell the truth about what's going on in the world right now, bro. Like it ain't got to be this serious. Like let's just take accountability for our responsibility as co-creators in this in this creation. Like sex is designed to have kids. And a problem I think we is. have in in America too is people are not willing to it take. This is what it is. People are not willing to take accountability of their actions. So uh, not taking accountability of getting pregnant, you know. You're not taking accountability of your actions. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just, the abortion is something for me that's just simple, bro, because I'm Catholic. So at the end of the day, at the end of the day, if you don't want to go, like I, I, I compare it to the casino. If you don't want to lose, then don't go to the casino because a part of going to the casino is that you can lose. Like it just is what it is. And I'm not saying having a child is losing, but if you feel like having a child is losing to the point where you want to kill it, then I'm saying, what are you doing? Stop having sex. Yeah, like, don't bro. go to the casino. Don't go to the casino. Don't, don't go to the play casino. The games. Like, it just is what it is. Look, we awesome. got, I was just talking so off, off uh, camera. Looks like right here we got some Trump supporters as well. Are you guys? Where are you guys Absolutely. from? We're from Michigan, Grand Rapids.